So in this video, I'm gonna mount the M unit to uh, the bike and hook it up. But this is gonna be interesting because uh, this is gonna be the brain of the bike. And um, I think a lot of people are interested in seeing how this works and how you hook this up. I'm doing this for the Suzuki, maybe for a Honda or something like a BMW. You have to do it differently, but maybe I'll give you a guide. The M unit, if you wanna buy this, please go to my affiliate link. Uh, you will find it in the description below. Um, hit that link and uh, you can order one of these at caferacerwebshop.com. It will help me out and my channel, so uh, please do. Now this is the ground plate I made. So I'm gonna put the CDI, uh, the starter solenoid and the M unit onto this thing. And this will ground to the bike. So this will give me a nice ground. This will also be the ground for the battery. So all of this can be ground with this one plate. And the other reason I did this is so I can keep the underbelly of my battery tray. It's gonna stay nice and clean. So um, no holes in there. It just slips right into there. Now this thing over here is another extra ground so I can hook up more wires over here. The first thing I need to do, drill a hole here because that's where the uh, ignition is gonna go and drill some holes here for the rectifier because I'm going to fit that on the bottom. So this is where the rectifier is going to be. Big advantage that it will get cooled from the air because the rectifier will get warm. A bit of cooling will help. And the key will be hidden right over there. It'll be hidden over there. Now these holes are from the original rectifier. So it's a bit of a shame, but the key is going to go in here. And maybe I'm going to make these holes a little bit bigger so I can push wires through. So that is the first thing we're gonna do. Battery, rectifier, key, tray, M unit. The key is coming in too far, ignition. So it's really tight with the battery. My idea is to take a piece off of this. This is uh, from an old bike. Take off this large piece and have to drill out this hole so I can fit this in here and then make like a little spacer. So, and this will be nice and flush with uh, that side. All right, so uh, the battery is in with the grounding. The plate is grounded through the frame. I've got these wires coming out of the regulator rectifier. Now this is gonna go to the starter solenoid and this one is ground. So I'm gonna use this point so I don't have to cut any of the OEM wires. So that's grounded. So this is the M unit. I'm in blue. Uh, it's got two grounding points, so they go right in here. So I can use these points as grounds as well. 
so that's the M unit. We need to ground this because um, even though it's grounded on this plate, um, I believe it's a good thing to also ground it to the battery. So you've got good solid ground. Next up is the CDI. Right. Now I've chosen, I had it like this before, but I'm going to flip it round. Now this is the start of solenoid. Already made this wire in advance. Um, this is going to be uh, coming from the battery. This is going to go to the starter. The wire from the starter was uh, damaged when the engine fell. So put in a new one. So we're going to run this over here I'm gonna put it through that hole over there run it along the side of the battery over to the starter solenoid so we're going from left to right we've got the key underneath here is the regulator rectifier the battery M unit starter solenoid CDI fuse over here uh, and we've got the power going to back to the key a spliced wire going underneath here into the ignition. So this now has power. So what we need to do now is hook up a wire, which is a key on power, and we'll lead that to the M unit. All right. Power to the starter. Right, so the next one for the starter solenoid is ground, which is the one on the top left. Anyway, that's ground, and we're going to ground it over here. So we need to put this regulator rectifier wire into there. So we need to lengthen this. So the last one to do is start. So from these two points, wire goes to the starter solenoid and I'm using these. These are going to M unit. If one wire goes there. So the basic setup of all the uh, main wiring has been done now. And to communicate with the uh, M unit, I'm going to fit a uh, button now. These buttons are by uh, Hedgehog Garage. Uh, you can find the link in the description. Um, and as you can see, I've fitted them in the handlebars. And it's a bit fiddly, but um, in the end, I got it working. And my soldering skills were uh, improving as I did this. And I used this little gizmo I made to uh, hold the wires. And that's an absolute must have or must made. So uh, after that, I got all the buttons working and I can communicate with the uh, M unit. Now most of the wires I will hide eventually into the uh, headlight and I will use the M button, but that will be for next episode. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in episode number 24.